welcome back to Wells Adventures. We're just um, heading out on a little local run today. There's a couple of pigs been um, getting into some farmed country of about half an hour from home here. So gonna go and uh, I'll take Buff, Huey and Macro and see if we can't get anything. So we'll see you out there. Pulled up, unloading the, just about to unload the buggy and the bull's taken off. Just heard a big bark. Haven't even had time to collar him. <laughs> That's him still in it. <laughs> yeah, that must be a decent pig. He won't normally bark. Oh, yeah, he's got one over here. Has he? Oh. oh, yeah. Good pig. Bloody good pig. Good boy. Good dog. Good dog. Big sear. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's a big, he's a big sow. Anyway, Fletcher's taken us out for the morning. We've just driven in, and uh, yeah, Buff, <laughs> dude, we're just about to get the buggy off and uh, let the dogs out. Yeah, Buff took off into the gully and never come back. Haven't had to listen, listen that hard and wonder what was going on for the last since well, about 14 years ago before tracking calls. So yeah, that's that's the reason we have them. But it's all good, we got her. It's a big sow. Probably a, she's a really good sow actually. Good thing, um, Huey, come on. Good thing it was a sow, I think. We, took us a bit to get to him, try and hear him and find him. Yeah, I was not expecting that. We'll go put the collars on him now and go for a look. So just getting back to the car to unload the buggy, just over here, you see. And he's sort of making sense now. <laughs> we didn't see this on the way down when we took off. But um, this is digging, you can see it all down through there, just digging everywhere. So I don't think she'll be on her own either. So we'll unload this buggy and uh, we'll, we'll get going. Put the collars on the dogs this time. <laughs> they give us a chance. So, but no, we've been calling them back on the way back because the breeze is coming straight towards us, sort of this way and they keep wanting to go, but we'll get some protection on them and, um, and a couple of tracking collars on them and we'll get going. So this here is as far as I got. And let the dogs out of the crate, sort of let them have a stretch and they went bull straight down there. So just unloaded, the boys are collared up and we'll uh, get going now and see if we can't chase that wind and chase that breeze and get a couple more. There he is, a the big boy, good boy, mate. Here's this big sow. We were just uh, out for a morning hunt with Fletch. He's taken us on a bit of a hunt and we didn't get a chance to uh, even call the dogs up. They, we we'll let them out, ready to take the buggy off the trailer. Thanks, Huey. And um, and Buff, Buff and Huey took off into the gully. Anyway, Huey and Chief end up coming back, and um, Buff kept going, and we couldn't hear. All we heard is one, two barks, and we just kept running. And luckily, Fletch um, seen him out, wrestle, out on this open um, hilly wrestling the big sow. So she's not a bad sow. She'd probably be around 70, 80 kilo, but we'll put a weight on her later and see what she is. Boys are pretty keen to keep going, so let's get into it. Do you reckon Fletch, this is more like your sort of hunting? Definitely my sort of hunting. <laughs> and mine, I can tell ya. Yeah. Boy, there's heaps of fresh digging here, like it's everywhere. They're going there. They're going, I reckon. Nothing comes back to the sand. I think the 
the pigs might have uh, outdone us that time. Just coming back, we're gonna get this sow <coughs> and I'll uh, take her home for some dog meat and load it on in the buggy now. And then uh, when we get back home, I, I might um, weigh her and just see what she weighs. Nice. She'd have to be around 80, wouldn't she? Just like nearly all but 80 kilos. Thanks for watching. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. For the second part of the video, Blake and Dad take the buggy and uh, boof. Rog and also Master, Blake's big pup out. Um, went back to the same place and um, yeah, they done alright. I'll just tell you that much so I don't ruin any video, ruin the rest of the video for you. Yeah, I got home la or late last night from Tasmania and yeah, this is how Blake, you know, he doesn't clean nothing or pack it in his way when he gets back from a hunt. So his excuse was I kept the dogs fit while you're away, so I guess I'll let him get away with it. <laughs> But nah, the, um, we'll get on to the next part of the video. Um, hope you enjoyed it, hope you like it. Uh, if you do, please like and subscribe. It doesn't cost a cent and it helps the channel out a lot. And um, for all the uh, subscribers so far, thanks heaps. We appreciate it a lot. But um, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of this and uh, we'll see you out there next time. Welcome back to Wells Adventures. Today, Dad, Fletch and I are going for a hunt up uh, just around the local area, and um, today we got Big Rog, we got um, Buff, and Young Master. Master, come here, bud. And um, we just got the three of them, so uh, we'll see how we go. It's a nice and fresh morning, bit of a breeze about. Um, we're just going to head off in the buggy now and go down and do some gullies and see how we go. Here, here, here! Here! Roger, George, George, here! <sighs> yes, yeah, good dogs! Get all of him! Hit him! Get on me! 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 Get on Good pig. Good, good pig. Here's this boar uh, we just got. We just seen him running, spooked him along the flats down the down about oh, 500, 600 metres away. And he started, he got the lead on us, so we weren't sure how good we were going to go. But um, Rog and Master hit the game trail scent um, just down here. And he darted off down into that thick bush. I couldn't get through the lantern, it was that thick. Um, but I managed to get there. And then um, he's a really fit, healthy pig, though. He's about 80. Um, the boy's got a good sized sow here a couple of weeks ago. So there's a few getting about. And um, Master and Rog end up hitting him up. Um, Boof took off on, on another direction. There could have been more, we're not sure. But um, yeah, it was a real good team effort from the dogs. And we pulled him up. We're going to weigh him later, so we'll tell you what he weighs. Hear him barking? Yeah. yeah. There's a, just a dingo there we spotted. 
Just poking up in the bush. Here's you go, big fella. Hey? Pretty happy? We got the one pig this morning, the good good sized ball, so um, yeah, it was real, real good and um, we're just going to put the dogs away and back the buggies back up and head back home. Beautiful. She's all bubbies. How'd you go? Right, uh, let's go. The 80 kilo ball we got this morning. We cheated a bit, we got the track that are lifting. It's got good size, good size little hooks. Always a bit of a story on Wells Adventures, but I was pumping up the tyres last night, I forgot to put the bonnet back on the buggy, so there's no, uh... Lucky the sponsors are still on the, uh, each side, because I've just taken that completely out. Going undercover. <laughs> she, looks, she looks bigger this side anyway. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be in the back, mate. Fletcher's got to sit there. Come on. Off you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, get on the VHS jumper. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh. Here, mate. Oh. 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 You look really good, mate. Yeah, do you hear <laughs>